Hey, what's going on, people? I want to give you some quick insight on getting your lock started in a healthy manner. So we're going to step away from the usual right quick. Step one, shampoo. Oh, my God. This is a big deal, and I want people to understand. When I say you need to wash your hair, you need to wash your hair. I'm going to say it one more time. You need to wash your hair. It is very vital on any level of hairstyling and hair processing. Wash your freaking scalp. Clean it off as you would do your behind on a daily basis. It is, I, I can't express that enough, my people. So, the first shampoo we start off with is your organic cleanse. Now, what I like about the organic cleanse is that it is the first shampoo that I have found to offer a healthy, clarified shampoo without all the harsh fallbacks and, you know, side effects that we can have with some of the other things that we use. Now, with this shampoo, everyone gets two shampoos just to make sure that the hair is cleansed properly. A lot of people have went through a lot of motions, especially at this point of going natural or transitioning to natural or having natural for a long period of time. They still are in an experimental mode trying to find all of those little things, a little niche and things that are going to work for them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So make sure, even with the stuff that you're putting in there, if you find what works for you, that you are washing it out when it's time to be washed out and you're keeping the hair clean and healthy so that it can breathe. If it cannot breathe, if it cannot obtain oxygen, the hair will break and fall out. Your next shampoo is going to start to restore moisture to the hair. Some of the moisturization that you were taking out during your clarifying process. And that shampoo that I love to use is called Moisture Retention by the same company. Now with this shampoo, you would instantly feel a difference in your hair. The hair will instantly become uh, manageable. It becomes silkier. It becomes easier to deal with what I found. And it always gives my hair that neutral shine that I look for. Being that I deal with natural hair and everyone with natural hair likes to keep a natural mindset, I don't like to add a bunch of products and a bunch of extraness to the styling of natural hair. I like to use what the hair has to offer so that we don't have levels of reversion. Hence the fact of why I am making sure that I began to store, restore, excuse me, moisturization into what I have began here. Now this is something I pay, I pay attention to a lot of people that they do and that they do right sometimes and I see sometimes they do them in a way I'm like, are you serious? Sometimes people do not know how to rinse the hair properly. We never have an issue with putting the product in. We have issues with put, taking the shit out. Now, what we need to realize is there are many different angles to the hair. And just because the water seems like it's running, it may not catch everything. Use your hands and feel for what you need to feel for. You need to be able to balance this out because too much rinsing can take away everything that you've just done in the beginning of your process and you would have just made all of your work irrelevant. So make sure you're practicing on rinsing the hair properly, not over rinsing and making sure that the hair is clean yet manageable with moisturization and healthiness. This is my favorite part of the whole process. Conditioning that hair. I've got Oh my God, this conditioner, I call it Harry Potter's Creamy Crack, because I have seen this stuff work. Miracles. My miracles, I'm not trying to be proper, I said miracles, because this stuff has pulled the rabbit out of some tails in some time that I have used it. It is called stimulations, and my God, Jesus, it stimulates. Oh, this stuff right here, I put this stuff in my head, y'all. And it just frees me. I call it God in a jar. I just don't understand it. It feels so good. It actually really stimulates and it makes that hair feel so awesome. Did you just hear me get in my feelings about stimulation? Well, anyway, it feels good. It works good. And every time I start locks, I make sure that I healthily, deeply condition the scalp and the hair before we start this process because we want to get started on the good foot to make things happen. I don't have time for you coming back down the line talking about this stuff we didn't start to make your hair fall out. It's got all these other things going. You use it Monday Stat 7 because you think you got fungus in your head and all other kind of retarded crap. 
I don't want to hear that. I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to go for it. I'm definitely not going to buy it. Now, sister girl, it's time for you to hit that dry so that heat can help penetrate some things, get inside of some things, move around in some things, and do some things. Thank you. What you doing? Huh? You just fading it up? Yeah. You gonna let it stay like that? Uh, you don't know? So how long you been going this up here? Why you been cutting this down here? You don't, you don't want to sit down. What you cutting back here for? This process, you start with the shampooing and everything, getting that started, getting that going. And now, um, I'm going to start her with a medium sized lock. And so on this one, we're going to make sure that we associate part to hair ratio. So, when her, her locks to be medium, although she has a tight curl pattern, we still use a uh, bigger diamond size, or dime size, however you want to call it, than normal. If it's going to be smaller, you take it, you go in on a smaller level, get you a smaller piece. And you can tell that this is going to be a smaller lock because of that base. That base isn't as big as that one. Make sure you comb that hair through. You are using a small two comb. This is what I recommend to use because you can get in there and scoop that hair all the way down. Do what you got to do. For those that are using rat tails to each his own, bless your heart if you got time to be playing and manipulating that thing with it. Some of y'all also are using clips when you first start this. I don't use clips. I don't feel like clips are necessary because I can get in here and smash dash without a clip being all in my damn way. I hold the hair at the boot just to make sure I'm not hurting her. Although, you don't tend to hit it on you. She said not at all. Bless your heart. Now, with this process, you don't have a level of reversion coming back from this because I'm using her natural curl pattern to do it. Now, she got that lock ready curl pattern, which means as soon as she comes from under the dryer, she's a done deal. She's going to have to come back every three weeks, though, to keep this maintained, to keep it right, and keep it healthy. But at the same time, she won't have to worry about much of nothing but her new growth. You sweat a lot? Uh, sort of. Sort of? Yeah. Okay. With that sweat, it's a possi possibility of her becoming Puff the Magic Dragon. But that's going to help her along the way. She's going to lock very easily. The sweat's going to get in there and start drying things out. You shed 100 hairs a day, so those shaded hairs are also going to help you do some things. Now, let me tell you about this, this lock and curl. Well, that's the only thing I'm spraying on here. Lock and curl allows the hair to tangle quicker than the greasy, oily putties and everything else that you're putting in your hair. The lock and curl just gets in there, allowed to have to be a little more manageable, trainable, and it brings out the integrity of the hair, which in with our hair, we have a great deal of curl pattern in it. Whether you 4C, 4B, Jesus feet, whatever, I don't care about your damn curl pattern. As long as you understand that there's a curl pattern and it can be used to make this happen. I'm sliding through this very easily. I ain't speeding this video up. This is me working and it, it really don't even take that much. Just a soft solution. You can't even see the spray on her hair in a bunch of places. You just see that she's glossy. Looking like she put on all the lipstick in the world. That's about it. This really don't take that much. Of, and if you, when you come in, if you got this much hair, make sure either yourself or the person that's doing your hair combs your hair out first. Because if not, you can have some locking already at that shampoo bowl when you start your first shampoo. That first clarifying shampoo is a drying shampoo. It will dry your ass smooth out like Irish Spring in the middle of a hot shower in the summertime in Texas. Look at her. I know. You can't tell her shit. This is pretty much all we do. When y'all have when y'all do this man, make sure y'all got some good combs. This is my uh, lumberjack Home Depot Lowe's comb. And this is what we're making happen with so far. Right. Now we're finishing up here. She is almost done. And I love, I'm glad that I bought this kind of comb for her. If I'd have some of the mother combs, baby, she would have disrespected the hell out of this comb. But that's all right. She got some good, strong hair. And right now, this locking curl in the front of her face is disrespecting her eyebrows. <laughs> but.
anyway, we're finishing up here. You can see that the parts are congruent. I don't use block parting or anything else. I like to use just regular cylinder, half cylinder parting so the hair can be full as possible. And if I just put it anywhere, she can get a part anywhere. And you can see how mine are still moving, although the hair is wet. Even when she comes from under that dryer, the hair is still going to be as flexible as possible. The top of her head, as I get a little higher, her pattern gets a little tighter and a little more coarser. So I made sure I uh, implemented a little more elbow grease. Make sure I got in there and got it out. You don't have to do too much yanking to get this done, but you don't have to use a little, little tension. It gets the best thing. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? You can tell the truth. Between me and your Jeep, I can tell the best. See now, with down the line, the only thing we got to wait for is for her to, her hair to start budding. And it's going to lock very easily. It's probably going to start locking about right here. And then as it, as it locks, it's going to spread both ways. So, what's going to happen in the next couple of months, next couple of visits, is I'm going to trim the end of the lock where it's budding at and locking. I'm not going to trim the lock. I'm not going to cut into it. For all you scissor happy folks, I'm just going to take it and lightly, moderately bump off those little wild curly ends that people see and feel like the hair is not locked yet. Okay, so now she's all locked up, making sure that the hair is coming, I mean twisted up, making sure the hair comes all the way straight back. I'm going to spray it one more time. I'm going to hurt you, Trey Songz, but you'll see it. You get on my nerves. Yeah. Wrap them edges, make sure that lays down. She's going to the drive for the next 10 to 15 minutes. All right, this is your outcome. Pretty much here. I don't put too much on, but I make sure that I kind of mess the hair as much as possible. Go ahead and just put it straight to the scalp, allowing the scalp to feed through, feed the oil through the hair, and then put the, enough oil on the hair for itself. You go through and just start saturating the hair, you're going to have build up all the different things like that. It's going to look white and looks gross. Like you have snot and different things in your scalp and in your hair. I hate the way that looks. So make sure the hair is removed. Cool. Does that work? Thank you. You're welcome. Yo, Dad. Can you do your video, sir? I'm charging by the second. You are. You might put that. Remember, we can get this camera. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about you. It's fine. On the spot. I'm telling you. Damn. <laughs> All right. My young man has come in here today. My young man is so sharp. You see his hair? He got nice hair. You tell me you don't like this color. Why you don't like this color? I'm a student. I know what you is, boo. <laughs> yeah, don't do him. Uh-huh. And then nobody asked you to narrate a goddamn I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, man. Oh, no, I understand. I got you, love. I got you here. You say, I'm, you better get my goddamn technical name right. What kind of, what, why you don't like this color? This is hideous. I hate this. Because it's who? I don't like this color. Why you doing it to yourself? I ain't know it's going to paint like this. What color you was trying to do? He wouldn't like the box. You did pick the box. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, no, no, no. That's all right. God is good. What we're talking about right now is psoriasis, though. For these 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 rashes and different things, eczema, psoriasis, and all the rest of them that just dry the scalp and the body out, you have to kind of balance that or you will have issues. Just as you see in a lot of people's locks, they have those little white particles. That is not lint, people. That is not always lint. That is skin a good portion of the time. And for those that does not understand why your hair is dry every single day, the porosity of the hair at that point when inside of a dreadlock changes. Porosity is the intake of oils and other things that go into the hair. Like you have input output on a world processor, you have input output when it comes to your hair, body, and skin. The input is the porosity of your scalp. So at this point, you have to understand what you're putting in it and why you're putting it here. We did a deep condition on her, and that's why hers is lifting up, and you see the old skin is coming out of here to rejuvenate for the new skin. It's just a new uh, turn of events. It turns a lot faster. Psoriasis is just like having cerebral palsy of the scalp, pretty much. The scalp ages a lot faster, and it does a lot of fast, a lot of quicker things. So I was letting her know 
just because you got snow mountains back here does not mean that that's a bad thing. That don't mean that's negative. You know, that's what's up in this day and age. You just don't let it get dry and don't stop taking control of this. Or, I'm going to take it personal. And, you know, hey, we got to step outside. We got to step outside. Because on, on my time, we're going to handle this. We're going to make this work. And see, that's another reason why the Rock and Curl comes in in, in handy dandy situations. Because I'm not putting gels and putties and all the other stuff in here that's going to cause an oxygen deficiency on the follicular level. So her scalp and hair will still be able to breathe. It will still be able to produce everything that's necessary, especially in the risky processes of risky process of rocking. Um, she dry from this color. I tell you that much. This color took everything out of here. Let me. I will pray, but I'm tired. I think God tired of calling me calling on him anyway. So I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. You got any questions for me, Big Six? Hmm. You didn't know what she was doing? No, I, I mean, appreciate that honesty because you, know. you got something out there that's swear to God. Mayonnaise miracle whip is for your hair, your toes, and your fingernails. They swear to God. You're not too feminine? No. Yeah, you be seen with your legs open and stuff. <laughs> You so manish, young man. You say I'm not feminine. I ain't got all that pretty girl stuff going on. Oh, that's right. We're going to see you every three weeks. You're going to tie this up every night. You ain't going to be at home doing all that fornicating and touching and playing on folks. You're going to lay down and go to bed like sensible young man. You do. When's your birthday? Who? Oh, Lord. She is a freak. Mm. Lord have mercy, and she like it rough. Jesus Christ! I ain't no. You gave me your business, <laughs> young freak leak. That's all right. I tell you, ain't a little poo nanny something at home. Y'all better calm down and tie this head up, or it's not gonna be working. Well, let me show you something. Come here, killer. Come here, killer. I know you hear me. I'm gonna smack his lip. Look at his head. This color will make your hair dry out too. Now this is a natural color. He's a kid. I know his mom and dad ain't died. I know for sure they better not be dying. His Why would I die, my baby? Hold on, wait a minute. You took that too perfect. No. Fix your face, young lady. <laughs> <laughs>